This is the proposed new Leicester Royal Infirmary Maternity Hospital and Intensive Care Unit. It combines both and what we're seeing is the aerial view of the proposed hospital. It might not look exactly like this once it's built, but it gives a good artist's impression of the plans that have been proposed. The first thing to consider is where the hospital will be in relation to the site. So we need this to be the entrance to the hospital, front and centre, facing Mandela Park on Houston Road, which brings our patients through a proper front door to the hospital, something we don't have at the moment. The first thing you'll experience is the welcome centre, and this is a nice big open atrium type space with reception. There'll be coffee shops and places to get something to eat, and this will be the main place where people can congregate before going to any of their appointments. Therefore, this space should be light and airy. The architects have given us lots of glass to create a lot of space. And we're trying to move away from individual patient waiting rooms, which can become very cramped and stuffy. This will also be a public space, so this is where other people will come in. Uh, for example, if you're a, a visitor or a family member. Then right away, we see the outpatient clinic waiting area. So just before your appointment, you'll come into a smaller waiting area and that will be just immediately before you come in to see whichever clinician you're coming in to, to see for your appointment. So this room now is an example of an ultrasound room. So because this is a maternity hospital, the thinking is about what kind of space you might go into and what kind of space you would like to go into. Now we're upstairs and again lots of glass, lots of open space corridors and we're moving into the midwifery led unit reception area. There'll be a whole floor dedicated to being a midwifery led unit and this is an area led by midwives for a woman who's going to be giving birth. And this is a typical birthing room so again private and over to one side there's a birthing pool in there. Uh, nice and discreet and this will give the woman a really pleasant environment in which to have her baby. The seating area we're now seeing again looks out onto Nelson Mandela Park and it was really important to this hospital that we get this green outlook a feeling of open air and a positive, nice environment for women who are going to be giving birth or have just given birth to have while they're using the hospital. We're now moving into a single room. So again, there'll be both single rooms and small bays, depending on what's happening for that individual who's having the baby, to maximise privacy but also to give an environment that is both comfortable for the woman as well as the family. Then the last room we're seeing is a small bay room of four beds for women to use and that's an example of what the maternity and ICU hospital will have.